Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Bernadette, Simply Be Fluid Art. This painting is a leaf pressed painting on a huge 70 by 90 centimeter canvas and there's layers and layers that went into this technique. So let me share my process with you and thank you once again for being here. I used fresh leaves or real leaves from the garden and I chose leaves that had very distinct veins on the underside because it's that distinct veins that you would want to show up when you do your leaf presses. I'm also using a series of brushes and also some flat brushes one and a half inch as well and I'm using a series of colors that resonates with nature so I've chosen some dark greens light green some blues and I'm also going to add in a little bit of an orange so you're going to need two bowls of fresh clean water one for your colors and one for your white paint and I thin down my white acrylic with water to make it fluid I brush on a very thin layer on the back of the leaf on the veiny side of the leaf and then I press it onto my canvas that has been pre-painted with very very fluid acrylics in this case I have used a phthalo green allowed that to dry and then I pressed my leaves on the dried canvas and I'm alternating the sizes of the leaf as well as the position that I'm pressing them down so that they face different ways and almost interlock like puzzle pieces yet not touching each other so there are gaps between them. I allow that layer of pressed leaves to dry and then I create a water bath with the same color as my base color that has dried on the canvas. In this case it is phthalo green so very very thinned down acrylic paint I use as my color bath and now I'm going over the dried pressed leaves in the first layer. The second layer of my pressed leaves was added once the water bath was dry so a few hours later and that second layer of pressed leaves was um, orange and a bluish gray I allowed that to dry and then I did the shadows and the shadows was done in the phthalo green as well once that was dry I gave it another color bath and now I'm adding the third layer of pressed leaves and once again I'm using the very same leaves this is the third round of the same leaves and I'm doing a lighter shade of green of lime green adding a thin layer with the flat head uh, paintbrush and then I'm going to be pressing that as my third layer once again doing different sizes interlocking them different um, letting them lay down in different and face different directions and then as I lift them up I'm leaving the veiny impression of the back of the leaf I continue to do this until the entire canvas is covered and then I use the flat end of the paintbrush just to do some definitions so dipping the flat end of the paintbrush into the the paint and then going over 
all of the edges together with the veins and just highlighting some of those veins um, because I really want the third layer to be absolutely clear. I continue to do that with every one of those leaves. Um, highlighting, defining with the with the front end or the tip of the flat paintbrush. And I allow that to dry. And once it's dry, I then do the shadow. And the shadow is once again just using thinned down phthalo green paint and edging every leaf creating a shadow. I do finish it with another color bath once again in the phthalo green and then I let that dry. So this entire process has taken me over two days. It took me 22 hours to complete. So let me show you what it looks like now that it's complete. This is really a very therapeutic and very enjoyable technique. So I encourage you to get into your garden, go and find your veiny leaves, thin down your paint and get to doing your first or your second or third leaf pressed painting. I was inspired by a person called Vanilna. I'm going to put her detail right here on the screen for you to go and check her out. Until the next one, bye for now.